Oh, hey, did you know that Batman's birthday in the comic books is February 19th? Did you know that Martian Manhunter is addicted to a type of Oreo cookie called Chacos? I'm gonna get violent without them. Jimmy Olsen's middle name is Bartholomew, and that's because the editors of Superman wanted to give him two L's in his name, like Lois Lane and Lana Lang, because the readers pointed out that Jimmy Olsen only had one L in his name. Hey, Nerd Sync, happy 100! It's me, Spider Man! But a recent study from Cambridge University says that I can't actually stick on walls. I mean, then, what am I if I can't stick on walls? A kind of, kind of Halloween costume? Maybe to shoot some stuff? I don't know. Anyone who's seen Batman Under the Red Hood or read any Red Hood New 52 stories knows that Jason Todd was brought back to life via the Lazarus Pit, but his original origin story was that he was brought back to life because Superboy Prime punched the fabric of reality. Did you know that Samuel L. Jackson got the job as Nick Fury because they based the ultimate version of Nick Fury off Samuel L. Jackson? Did you know that Spider-Woman was originally created because Stan Lee was just worried that some other publisher would take the name? In Marvel Comics run of the Transformers, Spider-Man was a guest star. Bruce Wayne once fought crime as a hero known as Starman. The nefarious Professor Milo had managed to strike him with chemically induced chiraptophobia, the fear of bats and all things related. But he got better. Did you know that in Batman The Widening Gyre issue number 6, Batman admits that he peed his own pants? Did you know that Hank Pym the Ant-Man once cured the Hulk of ALS? It's weird. Right? Batman had a daughter with Catwoman. Her name is Helena Wynn, and she's Earth 2's Huntress. She appeared in Secret Origins of Superheroes, issue number 17, and Crisis on Infinite Earths, volume 1, issue 12. Did you know that post childhood heroes Captain America, and due to them both being government experiments, Captain America is one of the only people that treats Deadpool with respect? Early versions of Ant-Man and Uncle Ben first appeared in Strange Tales 97, a whole two months before their official debut in Amazing Fantasy 15. In pre-new 52 continuity, Booster Gold actually inspires the Sinestro Corps by telling Sinestro that in the future Sinestro has his own core called the Sinestro Corps, and that's where Booster Gold's ring comes from. The X-Men were not the first mutants to appear in Marvel Comics. That belongs to Tad Carter appearing in Amazing Fantasy number 14 about a year earlier. Granted, this is ignoring Namor, who was later retconned to be mutant. In Batman Volume 2, number 38, it is said that the Lazarus Pit, which keeps Ra's al Ghul alive, is actually made from the same compound as was found in the meteorite that keeps Vandal Savage immortal. Jerry Robinson created Batman's Joker, and it was taken from him by Little Finger and Bob Kane. The clue for a movie featuring both Batman and Superman was given in the movie Man of Steel, in where Superman fights Zod, there is a post in the background saying, Keep calm and call Batman. Iron Man has over 50 suits. One is made out of the metal of Thor's hammer and the other one was, was designed to take down Thor. Did you know that comic book artist Mike Mignola did a lot of the concept art for Disney's Atlantis? Did you know that during the Silver Age, Captain America dated sisters at the same time? For a couple of issues, Captain America dated both Sharon Carter and Peggy Carter at the same time. Do you have a Lamborghini because I'm about to drop some knowledge on you? Superheroes wear tights because strong men wear tights and strong men are strong and so are superheroes. Mind blown. Did you know that Stan Lee's publisher actually thought Spider-Man was the worst idea ever? Did you know that the only way to defeat the Superman villain Mr. Mitt Spitlick is to get him to spell or say his name backwards? and in doing so, it will return him to the fifth dimension from where he came for a minimum of 90 days. The planet Conquered Dawn, recently featured in an episode of Star Wars Rebels, first appeared in the EU Legends comic book, Jango Fett, Open Season. This planet was Jango Fett's homeworld. Everyone knows that Action Comics was the first superhero comic and introduced Superman to the world. But do you know that it was an anthology comic and also introduced another famous DC superhero, Giovanni Satara. Did you know that the idea for the black suit of Spider-Man was sold to Marvel for $200 from a fan named Randy Schiller? Superman was originally a telepathic villain who was obsessed with world domination. Galactus the World Eater appears differently 
to every species that sees him. Like, the only reason that we see him as a human is because we are human. Did you know that Marvel's first ever African-American superhero actually debuted in Captain America number 117 in September of 1969? A fact about our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man is that he is a Mets fan, and that is because he identifies with them due to them being a, quote, bunch of lovable losers who hit the occasional home run by accident. Did you know that the Joker was actually inspired by a character called Gwyn Blaine from a, an adaptation of Victor Hugo's The Man Who Laughs? In the New 52, the true powers of Aquaman's trident hasn't been revealed yet. A character asked him once in annual number one, but Aquaman just turns off and says, the trident can do whatever I want. So there's maybe a hidden power inside of Aquaman's trident that he's too afraid to use. <laughs> you know, Wolverine was originally meant to be a mutated Wolverine. Like, the animal. That would've been weird. The beginning of every issue of Volume 1 of the New 52 run of The Flash, the name Flash is hidden somewhere. Did you know that Spider-Man killed his wife by making a baby? I'm not gonna go into the specifics of that, but you know what happens. Hey, did you know that The Walking Dead was originally conceived to be a follow-up to the 1968 movie Night of the Living Dead? However, uh, Image Comics decided that they wanted their own story, so they reworked the concept and thus The Walking Dead was born. And Kevin Eastman were creating the original 1984 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comic. Donatello was originally going to be named Bernini after another famous renaissance artist. The X and X-Men doesn't stand for Charles Xavier, it stands for that extra power in the humans. Did you know that in the Marvel Universe there is a company called Damage Control, which specializes in cleaning up messes made by superheroes and supervillains? Hey Nerd Sync, did you guys know that Iron Man's armor used to include roller skates? The Amalgam Comic Universe took DC and Marvel characters created hybrids of their most beloved characters first introduced in the 1996 series DC vs. Marvel crossover event. Spider-Man number one, Stanley uses two names for Spider-Man which is Peter Parker and Peter Palmer in the same issue. When coming up with the idea of Wolverine, the creators were torn between two names, the Wolverine or the Badger. We all know they went with Wolverine, but the Badger is actually a comic book character on his own, being published by IDW Publishing. Each issue of Valiant Comics Legends of the Geomancer was released in very limited quantity. Valiant doesn't even plan on making the trade paperback version of this book. This means that decades from now, physical copies of this book might actually become legends after all. The reason we call the mainstream Marvel Universe the 616 is because of Alan Moore, who was sick of calling them Earth 1, Earth 2, Earth 3, and figured there'd be way more out there than just those. The question did not start out as a DC Comics character, rather a character created by Steve Ditko for the Charlton Comics Blue Beetle No. 1, released in June of 1967. He was later bought in the early 1980s by DC Comics to be integrated into their current comic. Did you know that Harvey Picard and Alan Moore were good friends? And in the first issue of American Splendor, Harvey Picard included a picture of the Watchmen logo on his coffee mug? In 1993, personal favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossed over with a character called Flaming Carrot for a four-issue miniseries. Even though the governor cuts off Rick's hand in issue 28 of The Walking Dead, Rick is still seen with both of his hands in some of the panels later on. Peter Parker is able to take such good pictures of Spider-Man because he's sewn a sensor into the suit that triggers the camera shutter whenever the logo passes through the center of the frame. Lois gets injured really badly and Superman has to rush to the hospital. Surgeons say there's no way they can operate on her. Superman reads every medical textbook ever published, learns 10 years of medical knowledge in 5 minutes and operates on her and saves her life. Game of Thrones author George R.R. R. Martin frequently wrote to Marvel in their letter section at the end of their comics. Once Batman became the new god, he asked the Mobius Church two questions. Who killed his parents and what's the Joker's real name? It said Joe Chill killed his parents and the Joker's name was never revealed to the audience. All Batman could say was no. That's not possible. When Superman and Batman switch cities, Superman finds it hard to get around Gotham due to all the old buildings having lead in them, hindering his extra vision. However, Batman hates Metropolis because all the new buildings are polished and it's hard to get a good grapple. Did you know the Marvel Multiverse contains our own universe? It's Earth 1218. And four years of our time is equal to one year of comic time. And approximately 13 years have passed on Earth 616 since its debut. After witnessing a woman lift a car to save her baby, Jack Kirby was inspired by her incredible strength 
to create the Incredible Hulk. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Did you know that Captain America's shield was changed to his iconic shield because Marvel thought his old shield was too similar to their rival publisher's hero, the shield? Did you know that Doctor Doom actually dropped out of college and isn't a real doctor? I guess Mr. Doom sounded pretty silly. Professor X really isn't British. He's actually born in New York. Did you know the only member of the JLA that didn't show up to Superman's funeral? was Batman himself. He only shows up 12 pages later at the closing of the casket, during the infamous Ashes Ashes Dust to Dust moment. In Journey into Mystery, number 85, Thor reveals that Loki cannot use his magic while he's wet. Thor, you're so mean to me! Scott, I am now soaking wet and I have water all over my shorts, so if this doesn't make it in, then I'm, I'm gonna be mad. Guys, thank you so much for following us through 100 episodes of Comic Misconceptions. It has been quite the amazing and fulfilling journey. We went from here to here to even here, but now we're here. My hair has seen better and hopefully worse days. I'd like to think it's not that bad. This show has allowed us to meet so many great people who have become some of my best friends on the entire planet. And uh, we've also changed a whole bunch in our show format. We used to just be a general grab bag of trivia, comic book trivia show. And now we've changed to actually discussing things like psychology and science and philosophy. And I have learned so much. And I hope that these videos have helped you guys learn a whole lot as well. And also you guys have just taught me a whole bunch. I don't want to get too sappy on you here, but honestly, genuinely, I really do appreciate every time that you click on one of our videos, it means the world to me. We have so many awesome things planned for the next 100 episodes of this show. You're not going to want to miss it. So if this is somehow the first video that you've seen of ours, go ahead and click that big sexy subscribe button. And heck, you know what? Right here, we got a playlist of all of the comic misconceptions in chronological order, which means you get to start out with the very first episode I did, which is terrible, by the way. And you get to see how we progress through 100 ish episodes. The numbering system is a bit off, but you know what? We're calling this the 100th episode regardless. Thank you guys so much for allowing NerdSync to come into your homes and your lives each week. We really genuinely appreciate it every time you click on one of our videos. We love you. I love you. And I'll see you guys right here next week for another episode of Comic Misconceptions. We're in the triple digits now.